Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to go through the unboxing and the initial setup of my 3D printer. As you may know if you've looked at my other videos on my other channel, uh, I occasionally tinker around with gadgets and toys, a bit of soldering, a bit of electronics, stuff like that, and I make things. Um, for example, Bluetooth communicators in the style of Star Trek. Uh, so I was looking forward greatly to getting my 3D printer when I ordered it last year and it, during an Indiegogo campaign. So sit back, this will probably be quite a long video, but I will try to cut it down as much as I can. Um, enjoy! I have finally received my 3D printer. I have not opened anything yet. This is as it came straight from FedEx just a minute ago. I like the box, that's a good start. <laughs> Uh, my filament that I ordered arrived earlier, so I've got something to print with, even if it doesn't come with something in the box. So, time to start digging in. Okay. So, to start with, we've got to pry all of this off. At least I know it's been secured nicely from the factory. Maybe you should include a staple remover as part of the package that comes in that little pouch on the side. That's all that done. This booklet, how to build and start. We've got a thank you letter. We've got stickers, lots of stickers. And, uh, I don't know, something to hold the stickers, I'm guessing. Uh, but the important thing here would be... Lots of stickers. I don't know what kind of image that gives, but we've got a setup guide here. Place the removable head in the cartridge, slide the two buttons and structure, connect to the fab totem. With an Ethernet cable, connect the Wi-Fi, make sure the machine is off, attach the power cable, switch on, PC browser, fab totems, ready to use. Keep hold of that. Please pull me up from here. That's the box empty then. That's a nice touch. I don't know if you can see that. It's always useful to have a little toolbox, although this is missing any kind of better. More stickers. Okay. So, oh, it's very cold in there. Okay, so we've got to take it out of its out of its package. Uh, what do we have here? Notice: electronic side panel secured with a screw. Do not remove. Press here to engage the switch when you close the door. <laughs> doesn't say anything about how to install the heated bed, 
So, here we have a massive bag of silica gel. That'd be quite useful for keeping your filament nice and dry later on, so we'll keep hold of that. Here we have the actual print head. So we've got the milling tool and the extruder. Still all very cold. We've got a bag full of cables. And plugs and adapters and Mmm, Italian air. Actually, smells quite like Portuguese air. Got a short Ethernet cable. Power lead. Wi-Fi dongle for the Raspberry Pi component. box with spanners, hex drivers, a couple of couple of useful tools in there. I think that's the fitting for uh, the third axis, uh, the fifth axis head. And here is the actual It's being secure, and then there's not being able to get into it. Okay. And there we go. Heated bed. Very nice. And jig. So, but I have to say, I do think the door feels a little bit flimsy. The mechanism feels a bit soft. Doesn't say anything about installing the bed yet. So oh, well. I assume it's supposed to be spring loaded on both sides, but that one seems to be missing its spring. Well, follow the instructions, follow the instructions. And on. Two beeps. Beeps, that is the question. So that was the unboxing video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, come back for more. I'm going to do a setup video later and hopefully some videos of me actually printing some things. Um, like the video, subscribe to our channel, um, and see you later.